Hi, I'm Jonathan Wisely, and this is Capstrat's Week That Was. Many brands have become part of our daily lives. We use them, we visit them, we buy from them, and we don't even think twice about it. For those brands, that's a really great thing. It's a big deal to become part of a customer's daily life. I mean, with that, ubiquity is ascending to a higher plane. So when these brands decide to update, evolve, or outright change their logo, it's a great opportunity to grab the customer's attention again. Hey, down here, we changed. What do you think? Huh? So let's take a look at two examples that have the internet buzzing. First up, Google. Now talk about ubiquitous. They're the one logo that most of us see constantly throughout every day. And that's one of the reasons that Google cites for needing to change. I mean, they make really useful stuff and they put it in really useful places. But that's not mobile and desktop anymore. That's things like wearables and car consoles. So practically, they needed a logo that worked across multiple canvases, those that exist and those still yet to come. Aesthetically, they stayed true to the quirky simplicity of the brand, only elevated it. In fact, one journalist says that this is the face of the new grown-up Google. The new logo and visual system is smart and sophisticated. It's based off of geometry and grid. Everything's been thought through. Everything has purpose. And all in all, it perfectly illustrates the brand. Simple utility. Google has also done a really great job capitalizing on users' attention. They've made available their entire design process online from theory to execution, and they released a really wonderful video that invites users in to experience the growth of the company. It's downright inspirational. I mean, it even made me proud to be a user. Good job. Now, back to not noticing. Then there's Verizon. I'll admit, I'm not a Verizon customer. And while I wasn't a fan of the old logo, this new evolution doesn't exactly woo me to consider them as a brand. I'm all for simplifying logos, but they've moved right past simple all the way to generic. And for a brand, not a good thing. Google's simplicity is inviting. Verizon's simplicity is forgettable. In a press release, they say, at its most basic level, the new logo is a visual statement that honors our history and reflects an identity that stands for simplicity, honesty, and joy. For me, the key word is basic. And if I step back for a moment and I take a look at how they capitalized on the opportunity to reconnect with customers, all I see is basic there too. It was hard for me to find much more than a press release online. Now Google set the tone for the communication. Verizon's vacancy has allowed the internet to do it for them. So if change is right around the corner for your brand, put as much time into planning the launch as you do into designing the logo. Your customers will thank you for not wasting their attention. I'm Jonathan Wisely, and this has been Capstrat's Week That Was. 